So I had a chance to go to two different slums in Mumbai. I went out with some social workers who particularly work on access to clean water. So you wouldn't necessarily think that clean water has anything to do with the burgeoning opioid availability in India. But in fact, because there is no infrastructure for water for tens of thousands of people who live in these slums, uh, it falls to the women to take these huge uh, jugs and, and go find water. So you see them walking down the streets lugging these huge buckets of water. So what the social workers told me and what you see when you're there is that uh, many of the, it's actually many of the women who are using drugs like tramadol, um, buprenorphine, some of these other opioids that are available to treat pain, in a sense because these women have no other choice. They can't stop moving. They have to go out and get water every single day. And they also don't have access to physicians. It's too expensive to go see a doctor. So what they do is they go up to these storefront retail clinics, uh, they're basically just sort of open pharmacies, and they go and they get access to tramadol or some of the other kinds of uh, pain medications that you're supposed to have to have a prescription for. I went to one myself with uh, one of these folks from the Water Infrastructure Project, and I just asked, could I get tramadol? Um, and even though it's now supposed to be fairly regulated in India, it was not. I was able to get it easily at many different kiosks. Someone even wrote me out a prescription for um, tramadol and some of these other kinds of pain medications.